Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss about Ethernet. Before coming to it, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Coming back to Ethernet. Ethernet works in the data link layer and the physical layer. The Ethernet protocol standards define many aspects of network communication such as frame format, frame size, timing and encoding. The host format the messages into the frame layout that is specified by the standards when messages are sent between hosts on an Ethernet network. Now coming to Ethernet layer. This Ethernet layer got two sub-layers such as LLC and MAC. LLC logical link control, MAC media access control. We will see this one by one. First of all LLC. The logical link control sub-layer is used to communicate between the upper layers and the lower layers. It is implemented in software and independent of the hardware. NIC driver software can be considered as LLC. Now coming to MAC. MAC sub-layer is the lower sub-layer of the data link layer. MAC is implemented by hardware, typically in the computer NIC. Now we will see two primary responsibilities of the Ethernet MAC sub-layer, such as data encapsulation and media access control. First one is a data encapsulation. It got the responsibilities such as frame delimiting, addressing and error detection. The second one, media access control. It got the responsibilities such as control of frame placement on the media and media recovery. Now we will see Ethernet frame fields. The minimum Ethernet frame size is 64 bytes and the maximum is 1518 bytes. And here we can see Ethernet 2 frame fields, preamble, destination MAC address, source MAC address, Ether type, data and FCS. Now we will see uh, these each fields of this Ethernet 2 frame one by one. First one is preamble. It is a 7 byte field is used for synchronization between the sending and receiving devices. Next is a destination MAC address. Destination MAC address is a 6 byte field which identifies the recipient. Next is source MAC address. It is a 6 byte field which identifies the originating interface. Source MAC address is always a unique hash address. Next is a third type. It is 2 byte field which identifies the upper layer protocol encapsulated in the Ethernet frame. Common values for IPv4 is 0x800, for IPv6 is 0x86DD, and for ARP, that is address resolution protocol, is 0x806. We will see all these Ether type common values uh, using a Cisco Packet Tracer. Next field is a data. It is a 46 to 1500 bytes field. Contains the encapsulated data from higher layer. And now uh, coming to the last field that is FCS. The frame check sequence. It is a 4 byte field which is used to detect errors in a frame. Now we will see a packet tracer activity uh, to identify these Ethernet frame fields. Here is our Cisco Packet Tracer. Here we are going to use a switch 2960. Also two PCs. Now we will connect these devices. Coming to connections. Copper straight through. From switch FA0 slash 1 to this PC0. FA0 slash 2 to this PC1. We will assign IP address for these devices. Coming to PC0. Desktop IP configuration. We will use from uh, class C. 
192.168.1.1 we will copy this address coming to pc1 desktop command prompt here we will give 1.2 now we will verify the connectivity you will go to pc0 desktop command prompt now we will ping to pc1 ping to 1.2 here we can see uh, we get the replies now we will go to simulation mode we will close this simulation panel then we are going to send a ping command again to 1.2 and here we can see our packet it goes to switch now we will open this PDU and here we can see layer 1 and layer 2 informations now we will go to inbound PDU details or even we can go to outbound PDU details uh, so that we can see this uh, Ethernet 2 now we are in inbound PDU details and uh, here we can see Ethernet 2 here we can see the different fields preamble here we can see the destination address it's this destination MAC address and here we can see source MAC address also here we can see type here we can see it shows 0x 0800 is for uh, IPv4 and here we can see data and FCS now we will close this PDU information Now we are going to reconnect this uh, PC so that we can verify ARP also. Just we will go back to real time, we will give fast forward, then again we will come back to simulation mode. Again we are going to ping to PC1, ping 192.168.1.2. We'll minimize it and here we can see two PDUs. We can see ARP here. We will click on this PDU and here we can see layer 1 and layer 2 information. And now we will go to uh, outbound PDU details and here we can see uh, Ethernet 2 fields, preamble, destination address, source address and here we can see type. It's 0x0806. It's for ARP. Okay, right. So now we will check for IPv6. Uh, we will go to real time. Coming to PC0. We'll close it and we'll go to IP configuration. Here IPv6 address. We will set this IPv6 address. We will set an address to 001 colon db8 double colon 1 and here are the prefix 64 we'll copy this address coming to pc1 desktop ip configuration ipv6 address we will give 2 64 okay now we will ping from PC0 to PC1. Desktop, command prompt, here we will ping to PC1 using IPv6 address. It's a 2001 colon db8 double colon 2. And here we can see it's working. Now we will go to simulation mode and we will close this simulation panel. Now we will come to PC0, again we will uh, ping to PC1 using this IPv6 and here we can see a PDU is generated, it's ICMP v6, okay we will click on it and here we can see layer 1, layer 2 and layer 3, uh, we will go to outbound PDU details and we will check for the Ethernet 2, here we can see Ethernet 2. We can see those fields, a preamble, 
destination MAC address, a source MAC address, and here we can see type. We will check this type here for IPv6. It's 0x86DD, right? Then the data and the FCS, right? So we will close it and we will delete this. We'll come back to real time, right? Now we will come to MAC address. An Ethernet MAC address is a 48-bit in size and expressed as 12 hexadecimal digits, 4 bits per hexadecimal digit. All MAC addresses assigned to a NIC must use that vendor's assigned OUI, that is Organizationally Unique Identifier, as the first 3 bytes, that is 24 bits. All MAC addresses with the same OUI must be assigned a unique value in the last 3 bytes, that is last 24 bits. Now we will see different representations of MAC address. First of all, we will see with the dashes. Uh, here is an example, 00-0C-CF-D9-7C-04. Same MAC address can be represented using periods. Here we can see that 0000C dot CFD9 dot 7C04. Also, we can see uh, this MAC address using colon. It's 00 colon 0C colon CF colon D9 colon 7C colon 04. Now we will see MAC address representations using our Cisco packet tracer. We will check the MAC address of these PCs, PC0 and PC1. Coming to PC0 desktop, using command prompt we can verify it. We have to give the command ipconfig forward slash all. Here we can see physical address. And here we can see uh, here in this PC, uh, MAC address is uh, represented uh, with dot. Now we will verify uh, the MAC address of PC1. Desktop command prompt IP config slash all. And here we can see uh, this MAC address. Right, so friends, in this video, we discussed about Ethernet, Ethernet 2 fields, also about MAC address. So dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. And if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Subscribe and stay tuned for the future technical videos. Thank you.